This is John Cena. Smash the like button if you agree that Jade Cargill was a better TBS champion than Mercedes Monet. So let's talk about Sasha Banks. I haven't talked about Sasha Banks in months because I was trying to chill back in terms of, okay, can she impress me? Can she improve? Am I being too hasty? And no, this woman has not improved. In fact, she is on the decline. I don't get it. Um, she is the female Chris Jericho. She is a prime example of, she left the World Wrestling Federation because she thought her ass was a star. Now, let's compare her to Jay Cargill. I'm talking about the all elite fake pro wrestling Jay Cargill. This is a great comparison based on Sasha is a TBS champion, same as Jay Cargill. Jay Cargill was the one who put over that championship. She was the one who elevated that championship. And what has Sasha Banks done for that belt? So this is what I mean. Do we care if she was to drop that belt? No, we don't care. That's the problem. That means you are not putting that belt over. Okay, let's say Chris Aslander was to beat Sasha Banks. Will we care? No, even though I'm a huge fan of Chris Aslander, but Sasha has done nothing to make that belt interesting. So let's compare that to Jay Cargill. Jay Cargill put that belt on the map. Jay Cargill is better than Sasha Banks. Let me repeat. Jay Cargill is better than Sasha Banks. Tell me I'm lying. You don't care about the women's TBS championship. But when Jay Cargill held that belt, you cared. She was dominant. She was entertaining. And she was a force. She was must-see TV. Sasha Banks has go-away heat. She is on the Chris Jericho level. And for months, I was trying to keep my mouth shut because I thought Sasha was going to turn the corner. I thought Sasha was going to improve, but no, she has not. Her ass has gotten worse. And I thought that she was going to elevate sexy-ass Camille, but she hasn't. I thought Camille was going to be Diesel. But no, she is not. Camille, she is Tyson Tomko. She is Killswitch. That's who she is. She is Luchasaurus. She is not being elevated by Sasha Banks. She looks like a lackey. That's it. I can't even view her like Wartlow. Is she Wartlow? Nope. So what is Sasha Banks doing? She's barely wrestling. Now, she is not in that kind of category where less is more. Nah, bitch. We want to see more of you. Because you haven't had that many matches for the past three years, bitch. No, we want to see more. You have not earned a part time schedule. That's what people don't talk about. Sasha Banks don't deserve a part time schedule. You ain't drawing shit. And let's talk about her run in New Japan Pro Fit Wrestling. You was barely wrestling over there. So, how did you earn a part-time schedule? I don't get it. Tony Khan is an awful businessman. Awful. You can't keep handing out part-time schedules to people who don't draw shit. That is an oxymoron. It's like, bro, you gotta make these people come to work and earn their young moolah, baby. Sasha Banks is an awful TBS champion. It's crazy because every time... I see her on Dynamite. I fast forward. She has awful, god awful promos. And let's start talking about this. Sasha Banks has buried Okada. Nobody takes him seriously. That's crazy. She turned Okada into an incel. Okay? <laughs> let's be real. She turned Okada into an incel. That's crazy. He might go down as the greatest wrestler of all time when it comes to New Japan Pro Fake Wrestling and she turned him into an incel. A horny incel. I'm like, bro, Okada, don't you have a sexy ass wife? So I'm like, why are you lusting after Sasha Banks? Like what? That makes no sense. Nobody takes Okada seriously. He is the new Ron Simmons. And listen, I do love Ron Simmons, but let's be real. Ron was not a main eventer in the World Wrestling Federation. Let's be real.
So I watched a match between Chris Aslander versus sexy ass Camille. And I'm like, man, Sasha Banks has done nothing to make Camille feel like she's special. She is not Trick Williams. She is not Wartlow, Diesel, fucking Batista. Like I said, she is Tyson Tomko. Right now, she has zero upside in all elite thing for wrestling. She has no upside. Why? She is being brought down by Sasha Banks. I'm like, wow, why couldn't you go to NXT? That's my point. Why couldn't sexy ass Camille go to NXT? But let's get back to Sasha Banks versus Jay Cargill. You cannot tell me that I'm lying. She is not better than Jay Cargill as a TBS champion. Hell no, not even close. Jay Cargill was a draw, right? Jay Cargill was a draw as a TBS champion. She was must see TV. Why? She was dominant and Jay Cargill was wrestling more, right? I don't care if you call her green, who cares? At least Jay Cargill was not part-time. Jay Cargill was full-time and she was dominant. She made that belt special. She put over Chris Ass Lander. So let's do a comparison. Chris Ass Lander was put over by Jay Cargill. Okay, let's say Chris Ass Lander beats Sasha Banks. Will you care? No. Will that elevate Chris Ass Lander? No. It's not going to make her any better. Nobody cares. But that is not her fault. That is Sasha Banks' fault. She has no star power. She has delusional star power. Let me repeat. Sasha Banks has delusional star power. Okay? She is a product of the World Wrestling Federation machine. She ain't shit without Triple H. Like, bitch, how dare you talk trash about Vince McMahon? Like, he made you. You ain't no star. Sasha Banks is a star inside of her own head. That's the problem. She is an ego maniac. Like, I don't get it. Don't bite off the hand that fed you. That was Vince McMahon. He made you what you are. Like, you ain't no star. You are not better than Jay Cargill. You ain't better than Miss Belair. You ain't better than Becky Lynch. You ain't better than Super Sick Bailey. You ain't better than Miss Flair. You ain't better than Rhea Ripley. Hell, she is not better than sexy ass Liv Morgan to live and die in LA. It's the place to be. Okay, has Sasha Banks had any classic matches? How long has she been here? Do you go back and watch her matches? I thought she was the female Shawn Michaels, right? I thought she was the female Eddie G. She is on the decline. She has god awful matches that nobody goes back and watch. And second of all, Sasha Banks gets carried in her matches. So I'm like, what's the big deal about this woman? And she can't talk. That's crazy. She can't talk. But I've said this for years that, bro, Sasha Banks is overrated. She can't talk. She can't promo. I thought Sasha Banks was a better heel than face. I can't believe that the World Wrestling Federation gave her her own heel TV show. I'm like, bitch, you ain't the Miz. You are not Randy Orton. Her most heel moment was in NXT when she made that girl cry. But that's it. Bro, that don't make you a iconic heel. Okay, whoop de doo You made a little girl cry. Okay, so the Miz did too. The Miz, people don't like the Miz. Okay, it makes sense for him to have his own heel TV show. Right, that makes sense. Orton, um, Roman Reigns, that makes sense. But Sasha Banks? I'm like, Bailey is a better heel than Sasha Banks. I'm like, what the fuck? That was crazy that they gave her her own heel documentary. I'm like, she don't deserve it. She is a overhyped heel. And it's proven right now. Okay, do you care about Chris Asslander versus Sasha Banks? No, you don't. But I thought Sasha Banks was better off in all elite fake pro wrestling. No, she is not. Nobody cares about Sasha motherfucking Banks. This is proof. Sasha ain't no draw. She stole money. 
from Con Man. She conned him. <laughs> Imagine. I will say this. She conned Tony Con Man. She conned a Con Man into giving her all of that young moolah, baby. So I will give her a round of applause for that. The fact that she conned a Con Man like Con Man, that's crazy.